Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 660 in the series, the big 60. And in this episode we're going to head over to the west coast, over to Blackpool. I'd like to get the line from Preston to Blackpool North built. I'm not going to build the line going to Blackpool South, I don't think. It's not really necessary in this context because they don't have the outlying towns near Blackpool for the Blackpool South line to go to really so I'm just going to stick with Blackpool North keep things a little bit more simpler I know I do try and build every line if possible but I think in this particular instance it's not really 100% necessary I don't think currently on board this service which has just departed York on its way to Harrogate which we built in the last episode Harrogate's doing all right actually I put on the services I wasn't sure in the last episode which services used this uh, well served Harrogate but I've put on a northern service which is Leeds to York via Harrogate. It's just a shuttle backwards and forwards. And there's also an LNER service. I think there's a few a day. I'm not sure how frequent the service is down towards uh, London King's Cross. Obviously, it just goes as far as Grantham in this particular playthrough. So it goes Harrogate, Leeds, Wakefield, Westgate, and Doncaster, and then down to Grantham non stop. So yeah, you can already see Harrogate is doing all right. I put a bus uh, shuttle bus serving the town actually no I don't think I have what I've done is I've just kept I did get rid of it but then I put it back on the Harrogate to North Allerton bus because there's no way there's no I don't think there's a route any rail route I think definitely isn't over to North Allerton so I've kept the bus route just so they're still connected where's that bus where's the bus I'm not, I'm not looking at buses that's why so that goes across to North Allerton and it serves as a little bit of a shuttle as well serving the east easternmost part of Harrogate so that's doing all right Harrogate is growth potential 360 so that's not too bad the station's getting a little bit busy got a few people waiting to go on the LNER service I only able to put two car trains on which doesn't seem to be too bad at the minute I've got three trains on this service but I'd forgotten about the bay platforms that I put on at York I only did two segments deep which is only big enough for a, I'd say a maximum of a three car train I did try and put a two a four car train on and it got stuck at this junction I suppose I could if I wanted to play around with this a little bit I don't think that you know this actual section here is no it is being used but it I mean I could put a double slip in there I guess get rid of that and we might have the train hanging out the platform a little bit but at least it wouldn't be fouling the points and then it wouldn't be it's not able to turn around but we'll see how we get on because I don't think no we've got, we got three people on that so it's not a massive not a massive worry at this point I don't think now a couple of episodes back I got a comment saying that I should build Harrogate and Blackpool North next so we've built Harrogate already and we are going to build Blackpool North uh, but in the last episode I did mention about HS2 HS3 now I've I'm recording this before I put out that episode so I haven't had any comments yet so I'm gonna hold fire for now but we do have still quite a lot to do we've got if we head up to the northeast northeast no that's definitely the northwest we've got Kendall down into Oxenholme I'm not sure entirely sure where that would connect I need to find out uh, we need to do Barra Blackpool which we're doing in this episode we need to do Manchester crew crew to Shrewsbury via Whitchurch we've got the mid Cheshire line which would go past Hartford I can't remember what the station's called is it Greenbank possibly which crosses or is really close to Hartford station and what else have we got to do Rochdale is connected Burnley has been forgotten about Bolton has a little shuttle that's back and forth I think Bolton Preston and Wigan into Manchester Wigan over towards Kirby Ormskirk Preston um, the, and obviously the northern line from Southport down to Liverpool South Parkway so yeah lots and lots to do still it's not we're not quite near, quite as near the end as I thought Penistone has been forgotten about because it got kind of taken away when I when we remodeled Sheffield I removed the connection into Penistone so that needs to be redone obviously the Woodhead Pass has now been closed and is there anything I don't think I think I need the the Northern Bradford station, which I've forgotten what that's called, but that needs to be built. That hasn't even been built yet, and obviously there'll be services into there. I think over the east coast, though, I think the east coast is finished, possibly. I th or is it? I think it is. 
maybe I think that I need to double check I'll just I will double check just to make sure that we haven't forgot about anything but I think we're pretty much there where it comes to the East Coast so we've got this line which is supposed to go to somewhere I'm not entirely sure where's oh it's Gainsborough isn't it we haven't connected that up I mean that's that's easy you just connect those two up and then I think it's research of the service what should call at Gainsborough Central Mark raising that's all fine that's all connected up so yeah so we have what's going on here that's just a shuttle that's just a piece of track which I haven't connected up not entirely sure that's necessary for any particular service so I'm not gonna not gonna worry about that I think yeah we're pretty much there aren't we I've done a lot with some of the trains actually I don't think I showed you I have we have finally upgraded to class 8 tens are they for the East Midlands Railway because we are in the 2037 now uh, I think they're class 8 tens aren't they for the East Midlands and they do look I do quite like that colour colour scheme it's quite a nice colour I know it's uh, a lot of people call them aubergines don't they <laughs> aubergines on wheels so yeah we've, I've done a lot with that with upgrading the train so they're on something a bit more a bit more modern a lot of the trains now are in the East Midlands Railway liveries other than the ones which like the class 158 I don't think there's an East Midlands Rail livery yet so uh so yeah, there we are, all caught up. Now one of the things I did want to do, I want for my patrons for supporting the channel, normally, well, a while ago we named a load of trains after some patrons. What I want to do is to actually have that as a rolling a rolling perk for just to say thanks for becoming a patron. So instead of just one train in every series, I think tier one is I'm thinking about every ten episodes and tier two plus would be every six episodes you'd either have a train or if you were out of trains it'd be a vehicle but i don't think i need to worry especially as we're coming i think we're probably getting to while getting towards the final fifth of this series i think but we do have how many trains we've got 178 trains so i don't think we need to worry too much so yeah that's what i was thinking with the person i'm going to wait till the next episode i just want to get people's preferences for that but yeah i just want to want to improve the perks a bit just to say thank you for those people who have supported the channel via patron it does it does mean a lot so there we are that's that's that they've done a little bit of keeping up because we are on episode keeping up checking what would checking what where we're up to because we are on episode 60 now which is just amazing i can't can't believe we got to 60 episodes um, my computer is starting to struggle a bit now so i what off camera i did get rid of some trains not a load just I, what I've done is I've made sure that the services which are in place we have a frequency maximum of three minutes or minimum of three minutes so any if it was any shorter than that I took a train off and some of the routes I've you know really cut back a lot of the trains I just basically if there's a if I saw a train that was only carrying like two passengers or in some cases zero passengers I just took it off because I really need to start paring down that that number of trains a little bit because we still as as i just said still got quite a lot way to go we've got blackpool itself has quite a number of services which go you know we've got blackpool to manchester airport we've got a blackpool liverpool and there's a another blackpool service as well which i can't remember what it was but there is there's definitely another blackpool service <laughs> so enough of catching up we will get on and actually build this line now we have already put the line into into preston we've already got the cord that comes off or the, the line that comes off uh, it goes four track and then i think goes two track into here for a while might put a couple more actually no say so i might yeah i might do i think we'll do that now actually because i'll just forget otherwise i think i'll just put one more block section on this so get rid of that one that should be more than enough it's not massively busy i just want to move these down a little bit so this block section is going to be there and then i'll just put this signal a bit more a bit more central in between those two sections just to add one extra block section in and just to move that signal a bit closer to wigan wigan actually does wigan i think wigan might have to be remodeled a little bit but it should be all right not entirely 100 percent on that but yeah, we've got those in place. We've got that in place. Now, the actual line into Blackpool is a little bit... It goes like up and round, doesn't it? So, where are we? So, we've got... Where are we? Preston. Track comes up. So, it heads up in a northwesterly direction. I think it's actually it's going to have to be a shallow shallow approach into Blackpool and then up and round 
So we've got all these lovely roads that I built. I built just trying to get a little bit of growth going on in Preston. So I did build a big road network. I think this is going to have to go. I'm not sure what what this be the M50 something going into come going on from Black from Preston over to Blackpool. So yeah, this is going to have to go right back. I think. So what I'm thinking is track catenary. Yes, it is electrified now, isn't it? Fairly certain it has been, and it wants to. So we're going to head in over and sort this direction over now that's road that's definitely road over in there we don't want any don't want any massive viaducts i don't think it is quite there's a little few curves here and there and but it is in the hole relatively straight but we're just going to come up like that and then i'll do the double track i'm still not using double uh, parallel tracks for whatever reason i just keep forgetting about it so put that can you just no don't you not don't need to collision to collide rather uh yeah just straight into there should be nice and straightforward and then it does head up goes in more of a northerly so it goes about there and then head up north yeah i want to keep the speed relatively 80 because it's not a sharp corner as it approaches and then straight up a little bit straight up and then it does go quite sharp i think i've built now i need to build this a little bit further back actually because the station's just just because of the station orientation actually we'll put the station in first so we'll get rid of that and that we won't get rid of any more just uh and then just double check the orientation of the station it is on a bit of a diagonal isn't it and it is a terminus a building terminus one platform for now and it's something something a bit like that i think that i think that sort of orientation good and then just curve this keep it on a decent half oh, nice 70 i think 70 is good up a little bit and then if we get that track from there curve it into there 49.50 I think yeah it's the service will be starting to slow down won't they as they approach Blackpool North now as, I think as far as I could tell Blackpool North has about 10 platforms well no not 10 8 rather I don't think I want to do 8 because that would make it bigger than uh, Liverpool Lime Street which I don't think is quite right so let's just what do I want to I think oh, I've taken the the thing you know the thing I think we'll use what we'll use NL for this or it doesn't really matter no i'll just use the standard uk platforms so i'll have get rid of you yeah we'll have that actually I've, i'll live with that so we'll have that one there down the middle we'll have you know their high speed i want those because we do want catenary i think we will end up with six platforms although probably in all honesty doesn't need six platforms uh, but in the end, I decided to go for the more modern looking because it's like it's almost like it looks like a greenhouse. I think that's the only thing I can equate it to. So I mean, that's got a little bit of a glass roof. I know it's curved, and Blackpool North has like an, an iron, wrought, probably an wrought iron roof structure with glass panels. But I think that's probably the closest we'll get. And then just actually I need to double check because I didn't look if it's got. A th yeah, no, ignore that. I'm going to put. Uh, platforms I'm going to put a blank platform at the very end as I normally do down there I mean I, as far as I can there are more services but I was only going to put three services on so we have got four, four, more four more platforms than we actually need but I wanted it to at least look a little bit black like Blackpool North if not completely accurate and then we want a canopy don't we so what I was thinking I know it's a glass roof but I think I was just going to do a canopy down the, the platforms like that with the uh, the platform sticking out on either end so yeah far bigger than it needs to be in this particular particular instance i know it probably does need to be the size it is in real life but in this particular instance it's not so that's that's that it's not too bad i don't think and then we're just going to drag these tracks round so yeah i think if i bring it round to here split off into there and i think now it's, a, it's pretty similar actually because it's a terminus to black uh, to manchester manchester just want to think how i'm going to get these these in here no we don't want to do that i'm not sure if my computer's running really badly or my mouse needs a new battery i have put a new battery in my mouse but it's flying all over the place i think my computer is starting to struggle a little bit for some reason which is a little bit worrying because i only upgraded recently uh, so we'll put all those into there i don't like using diamond crossovers do i but i think in this particular instance we're going to have to just because we are quite away away from the, the station it's quite a long run into the station isn't it don't like to have station uh, like to have trains waiting too far out of the station because it just 
adds to the, the time and reduces the capacity so I will put a put a diamond crossing in here like so and then just a straightforward signal one-way signal into there so that's pretty straightforward really I think I'll put a couple of couple of signals here on the lead in maybe one here because like I said we're not going to have a massive amount of services just want to make sure and then we'll have another one we'll have a signal heading into the station and then we'll have a block section just on the outside of the station again just so trains aren't waiting too far from the approach to the station itself then have another signal on the inbound there that should be more than enough i think for the services that we're going to put on there and then we might just do i want no we can't have a side connection anyway because of because of that but i do don't want to delete don't like deleting too much if i can help it as you know but i just want to i wanted a nice flat road against this frontage here and we don't want a bus lane and then just i think we'll have a curved curved bit of road into there and a little bit a little bit of a road there no, should we have a should have a curve on that rather than no, not see mouse mouse is flying all over the place it's the problem with having wireless mouses i think yeah i don't i don't know the frames per second the fps isn't dropping but the mouse is wiggling so maybe another battery we'll, we'll try one of them it's a little bit annoying when you're trying to lay out track and things or lasso anything so we'll have this actually do we want the Manchester tram or the Manchester the Blackpool tram we probably probably might do mightn't we I know it doesn't I don't think it goes anywhere near Blackpool well, it honestly does there is a little bit of track that goes to Blackpool North so I'm not sure anyway we want the prom anyway don't we whoa what are you doing we definitely want the prom going all the way the promenade down there with all the streets leading into it I'm just gonna have a quick look at the open rail map because it is showing a tram line Okie dokie, so it does appear that in two years time, real time, that it is going to actually go to Blackpool North. So I think, shh, let's, I think I've probably deleted more than I should have anyway. We've still got some residential properties. Now the only problem with this is trams don't reverse, do they, in this game? I don't think there's a mod that exists to enable that. So I think we'll do electric tram tracks, bus lane, and we'll pull up alongside, keep it level, and then we'll just do a little little turn back facility for a tram to come in here i think i've done it the wrong way around but never mind so bring that into to there and then this wants to be two-way upgrade that no i can't do that can i no i can't right so we'll start it as a road well you know a two-way road that is level with the track something like that and then on the end we will put in a one-way road that comes back on itself just for the trams to turn around i think they can possibly turn around but they kind of just jump don't they across the road which just looks a bit rubbish so no construction not possible right i mean it doesn't it doesn't it's not the end of the world is it because it's not real anyway but this can come down we'll have this could be quite complicated couldn't it potentially so we'll bring that down like that and then we'll have a normal road in front of the station something like that bring that road into there and that one as well bring that all in together and then I think we'll have to have, a, it probably might be pedestrianised or something, but we'll have an electric bus with a bus lane just leading straight down. And we're deleting more and more, more and more of Blackpool as we go. Hopefully not too much. And then just connect that up to that. What, what sort of, it's given us a little bit of a, yeah, it is quite steep, but I think deleting more. Oh dear. Yeah, it does produce quite a steep incline, but I don't think, it's not horrendous, I don't think. And then hopefully it will just let us upgrade this to electric the bus lane. No, it's not. Collision. Right, so we'll do a little bit of flatten the coast out a little bit here. I mean, this wants to be relatively... Does it want to be relatively straight? I don't know. Probably doesn't, does it? I think Blackpool definitely has a bit of beach. Maybe if we bring that right out then. And then just upgrade this along here. Hopefully we might get a good, good amount of development along the coast, perhaps. Like it is in real life. And then just at the end we'll have turn back facility so we want one way we're on the wrong side of the road aren't we so we'll have one coming out like like that it doesn't want to be on an incline or anything and another one construction not possible come on fine maybe then if we have two way just to finish that off now you still want to be flat flat and then we'll do the same at this end i think as well just flatten that off and then just something for the trams to be able to turn no not like that like that can i do something yeah i can do it like that so that's better oh it's ruined me it's taking me a little bit of road away right try that again shall we maybe maybe make this a little bit longer 
and on the level one way going that way flat no not down it's only given us two options oh come on that's better no yeah something like that i don't understand why that's that's better flip that into the maybe maybe in two perhaps that's a little bit better isn't it and then into there yeah it's not not attractive at all but if it does the job just giving us somewhere for the trams to turn round like that so which we're facing the wrong way aren't we so we're going that way coming down and round i probably could make them look a little bit nicer if i'm honest but i think we'll just i think i'll take that for now and just build a few more so no no tram tracks this time don't really want to encourage grow too far away from the tram tracks because i think that's probably going to be the only form of transport public transport within blackpool itself so we'll try try and encourage development near the actual tram line on the coast and then along here we'll have a road that kind of comes along let's have a little bit of a curve there curve another one is that too high no that's all right and just a little bit of a little road there another one it's quite steep but not the end of the world not too bad i think it only matters really if it's going to have vehicles like trams on it or buses because they do look a little bit silly sometimes when you have really stupidly big slopes so yeah we'll smooth that off i know there's there's like a, a wall isn't there a sea wall but there is a beach as well so we'll smooth it off a little bit all around here hopefully we haven't deleted too much of blackpool and it will come back smooth all this off here and it's going to need a depot isn't it so i'll put a depot on on this end i think depots tram depot yeah it's going to let us do it which is good put that on there smooth that ugliness on there and then what we're going to do so we're going to have no that's train tram we actually haven't done the stops have we <laughs> that's uh so we'll have one there one there one there we will have them no we should, no we won't have them that close together i think we'll have one in the middle get rid of those two new line so from here going to blackpool north i'm not sure what the real service pattern will be in 2022 but we'll do something like this how are you, how are you reckoning you're going down there you're not are you clearly yeah it does it does need a return but i think that's definitely tram that's fine it'll it will sort itself out won't it street I think I'm just going to put a marker here just in case. Might not need it, it might sort itself out, but sometimes you do get trams doing weird things, jumping over roads and whatnot. So before we put the trains in, we'll do buy new vehicles. Uh, oh, what's this? This looks quite nice. Or is it? Oh, I don't know what the new Blackpool trams look like. So they are flexity. <laughs> are they? Who, who does that? Does it look more like that or more like that? I think it looks more like that. We'll have one, two, three, four, five. And what are they? White and white and purple. Put the maintenance up. And I don't think, don't really have a matching purple, but we'll do that anyway. Do that. Speed the game up. I just want to see what they do before we before we move on from this. Obviously, we do need to put the road connections. Actually, it's not too bad. It's still got a road connection. We'll wait for these. Wait for these to come out and see what they do. Does that look like? Yeah, I think that's that's pretty close actually. Yeah, they are flipping round on the middle of the road, which is a little bit annoying. So we'll put on it's Queen Street, York Road, we'll put on a waypoint there, force it to go round the turnaround, because I don't like the way it jumps across the road. It just looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? So coming from, coming this way, London Road to London Road, add, no, not new line, from there to there. And we'll have it in the same, same purple colour, so that is Tram Blackpool. Have I done that? No, I've done that the wrong way round, so we'll... Wait for those to get off and then we'll just flip this round. Make sure we're actually facing the correct way. That's better. What sort of frequency has that allowed us? No, that's that one. Trams, 59 seconds. I think that that's too not too bad. Hopefully we might. I know we'll have development maybe along this road here, but it's not really the end of the world, is it? So what do we want for in... Nope, that's, that's tram. So we'll have Blackpool. Preston, uh, I'm guessing it's going to call Wigan Northwestern, and then into Liverpool. We'll just put this one on for now, and obviously on the return as well, up to there. It's taking its time to, uh, to figure itself out. Now, what's, we do have a lot of northern services now, so it is getting a bit... Actually, having said that, we can do like a really dark blue, and that stands out. So that is... and It's got to be a northern service, isn't it? So that's Liverpool 2. Liverpool 2 BPM. No, Blackpool North. So we'll have that service in there, and I'm not sure what I'll put on that, but at least we've got that in. We've got a little bit of a tram network as well. We don't often look at trams in this particular series. I haven't looked at Nottingham yet, actually, have I? I did mention that. I would, I would like possibly to take a look at that. So 
station's got co got good coverage up here. I might just put a little little bit of a side street coming up from here. Uh, nothing, just I know cars won't be able to use it, but people will be able to walk. I think at least just gives a little bit of connectivity into the station. I think up here as well. If we encourage some development around the station itself, and uh, that's that's not going to be able to connect up. Just just a little bit of smoothing around here. So. Um, I know it's not going to be the most interesting journey, but I think I might actually do a tram journey for once. Because we don't uh, we don't often look at trams. What I think I'll do is I'll wait for this to develop and make it hopefully grow a little bit more. And then I'll put a tram journey on the end. So there we are. We've done Blackpool North. That's all connected up. I'll put the Northern service on so Blackpool will start to grow a little bit. Because obviously it is being held back at the minute. So once I've done that, we'll do a little bit of a short tram journey. Just something a little bit different along the promenade at Blackpool. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Say until next time, bye bye.